regards to his experience. There you see the um, the technical aspect in regards to striking that he's been focusing on. And now an independent, and, uh, and it was interesting talking to Jaron Hunt yesterday, said some of his kicks will come differently because he's got a kind of a karate and kung fu style uh, rather than a Muay Thai style. And so he says it often, he finds it confuses his training partners when he's kicking because his feet are turned differently. So the point of the strike lands at a different spot than they expect. Yeah, no, I, I love it. I, I, I practice much of the same thing in regards to the kicks specifically and to the different angles. If I don't know what I'm going to do, how is my opponent? And he, again, the, Randy's been really good. Oh, speak of the witch. There you get uh, Jaron Hunt able to take on a little bit of momentum, but in many ways, oh. Yeah, Hunt had caught the kick yep. there and took Chung down, but Chung right back up using kind of a, a high kick as a, as a a stay away maneuver more than anything that allowed him to get back to his feet and now he's got him up against the cage yeah i really like randy's uh, ability to just move off you can't you can't have your butt on the cage you don't want to have that false sensehood that you're safe and there he goes with a takedown but can jaron take him down or reverse it rather so jaron hunt trying to climb on the back of randy chung but chung not allowing that to happen again very well versed in jiu-jitsu. That was his strength coming in for Randy Chung and, and spent the last three years learning striking, learning wrestling, keeping those, putting those skills together before stepping back in the cage. And now you can see him right on top inside control here and starting to land punches. Even worse than what would be called a crucifix. He's trapping his body and here's the head and arm choke. It's gonna be interesting. Oh, with the turnover. See, that's what you want. You don't want, rather, uh, position over submission. If you don't have it, don't lose it. Yeah, it's something we talk about here all the time. There's nothing I find more infuriating than a man who pulls guard from standing up. Yes. Uh, but <laughs> but uh, not that that happened there, but Randy Chung going for the choke and uh, was able, Jaron Hunt able to reverse it. Oh, a big right hand trying to catch him walking away, or a left rather, and Jaron Hunt almost connected with that. Both gentlemen are actually really throwing everything they have in it, but they need to be a little bit more poised. I think what you want is it's better to actually hit your target than trying to destroy it. Well, and that's what you see a lot of times with the amateurs too. They're, they're swinging wildly. Ooh. Oh, but that was nothing but a solid left hand. Jaron Hunt shakes it off, but that landed solid. Yes, usually when someone says it didn't hurt, it really hurt. And there you go for the second one in one round. <laughs> and you can bet that Randy Chung saying you're not shaking that one off. In many ways, Jaron is keeping his hands down and just going for the kill at this moment, but he needs to be cautious. If, if Randy Chung can get one through the pipe, we've seen what he can do, and that's put someone on the ground. Yeah, a bit of a goose egg now on the side of the head of Jaron Hunt where that last one landed. Nice teep defensively from Randy Chung there. Yes, Randy's doing really well at just stopping Jarrett halfway through whatever he's trying to do. And here he is again, taking a little bit more. It's in many ways death by a thousand cuts, but any one of those cuts can put you on the canvas. Yeah, Jaron Hunt squinting out of one eye now and that time eating another left. Uh, Randy Chung is landing all kinds of strikes here and a, a big spinning back fist. I know your favorite stuff and answered with a spinning back fist from Randy Chung. He literally said, no, it's all me. Well, and yeah, that was beautiful. Let me show you how it's done. I believe is, is, is <laughs> I how believe that one looks. this is what looks. you were trying, sir? And then a come on gesture from Randy Chung. He switched to southpaw stance there briefly. Now a kick. I understand, uh, sorry to interrupt there, but I understand what Jaren's trying to do. He's trying to put momentum and confidence, but in many ways you can't do that blindly. And the more you get hit, the more you get hit, the more blind you'll do it. Yeah, the, the counter strike's coming very strong from Chung, now strong in the takedown, and uh, blood coming from the nose now of Jaren Hunt as Randy Chung uh, continues to work here and has moved his opponent away from the cage, taking away that opportunity to, uh, to use the cage to get back up. Yes, and it, we talked about it in the previous fights, but there's a moment in, in between each transition where each person can take the lead in regards to going and saying it's my turn. Randy, uh, Randy is very much going, going and being very selfish. He's taking everything. Look, he's right back where he is. He's transitioning, he's punching, and Jared Hunch doesn't have much left. Yeah, this fight is over. Randy Chung takes advantage of the Alberta of the new advanced amateur rules by getting the win here.
Garen Hunt might be upset, but that's a good stoppage.